Des Moines Wieners. It doesn't have as good as AA as the Lexington. The Lexington has the best AA out of any ship on the game. Right now, at least. I didn't check premiums, though. I gotta check those out. Nah, dude. Lexington gets an 85 rating when you upgrade its boat. That's a lot. It's got like 20, 127 mil uh, anti-air guns on it. Well, if you remember, the Lexington was a true World War II carrier. Oh, yeah. And they were going up against the Japanese Air Force, Essex. which were very aggressive planes. Um, at that point in the war, they were definitely stacking as many, you know, back at guns on those things as they could get away with. Well, the Essex was made for the dive bombers. I'm pretty sure the Lexington with its 127s were made for high altitude bombing defense. Because I don't think you're going to need a 127 gun for. Uh, kamikaze attacks, unless you're shooting long ass range before they arrive. Wasn't there well, a gun yeah, that the could Essex shoot was in space? response to kamikaze? Because I mean, the Essex literally came out at the end of the war. Essex, well, the Essex has like 90 fucking AA mounts on that thing, dude. The uh, Lexington only has like 50, but they're large cannon. Essex has a lot of medium cannon ones, um, at least in this game. I don't, I don't know how true it is in real life. Isn't it? They tried to keep it as historically accurate. They could. That's what I figured. I mean, the upgrades are obviously BS, but you kind of need them. Yeah, the upgrades are, but the modules are pretty accurate. Yeah, well, in terms of what they're used for. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like Silent Hunter's upgrades. Yeah, and Silent Hunter, those are very accurate. Yeah. I, I know quite a bit about submarines, and that's is. very accurate. All right, we're ready to go over here when you guys are ready, when Gabe comes back. Yep, we're all ready, except Gabe. I, th I think Game Key fell in. Hey? Hey? Game Key fell in. He fell in? Yeah. Man overboard. He's a Marine. They taught him how to swim, right? Yeah, but they also tell him to jump overboard when he sees plants tor torps coming his way. True mod. I was convinced he suicided before my torps hit him. <laughs> Me too. I watched it all happen too. I was like, oh god, he's gonna torp him. <laughs> I had to sit there and wait for my reload. I hit him on the first round and I'm like, alright, swing him back around. That's when I started shooting you when he did that big turn around and shot off and went back towards your side. I was like, oh no, he's already done. His load has been shot. I couldn't cock block in time, dude. Hey, I may be an old man, but I can shoot more than one load a day, right? My division now, I have a choice. I'm coming in with the little orcs here, cruiser. I got a, a battleship and a carrier on my team. Who do I stay close to? Do I stay close to the carrier? Or do I stay close to the battleship? Depends on what the other parts of your team do, I guess. If your battleship looks lonely, you go for that. Well, looks like my battleship is going to stay with the carrier. Make a task force. If we're on the yeah, maybe all three of us should stay group. back there. Actually, we should probably drag the carrier up with us. If we can keep him safe, the battleship and a cruiser, we can move that carrier anywhere we want. Well, the problem, we don't have anti-torpedo armament. At least I don't have this cruiser. I could be anti-torpedo. I don't mind taking a torpedo to protect the battleship or the carrier. But you know, I'm just a lowly right? cruiser. I'll jump in front of him. Oh. Well, is, is it the Cleveland? It's, it's a special skill that you can I'm back. We won. Yeah, it's way up there though, like, it's like five, <sighs> it's way up in the, 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 
captain level. All right. Oh. Sorry for taking so long, guys. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Battle on, bros. Battle on. Yeah, but it works so consistently. <laughs> like, literally, we've been getting in the last two times we've gotten in the same game. Just We're going in. One side, one time on the other. We're going in. <laughs> Everybody kill Anthony for white. You're too just long. afraid to play me, aren't you, Blood? You know I've been all pent up the last couple of days, been able to play. I'm getting all I remember, I remember, the, I remember the last time we went head to head, I kinda like two shots you with my cruiser. <laughs> it was you, you quite saw how I glorious. Just game key, so I know how much you don't want to go against me. Also, guys, don't worry. Here in about another 30 minutes, we will be giving out our end of stream key. However, this is where I'd like to take the time to say, give me a game or a streamer. Between now and the end of stream, we are going to go raid somebody. We do have a list to refer to, but if we can't find anyone new as well, then we'll go refer to our list. Oh, we got the ocean map. I hate this map. Oh, you got the at the ocean? I'm glad we don't. <laughs> um, did they say anything on the anchor about the ocean map? Uh, no. I, I nailed it. You know, the survey they sent out to the beta testers, some of the beta testers? Yeah. I ranked this as the least favorite. I told them it was the worst idea of a map I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it, may, it quite literally broke a lot of the ships. Anyone with torpedoes is basically the only good ships. You got to be fast. You got to be fast and with torpedoes. Exactly. And if you have a lot of people that get that one premium ship, the I forget the name of it every time. The Kitakami. Kitakami. You you have a group of those that's going to be over who shoots out all the torpedoes first or whatever. You know that? Yep. Because it's like, like 40 per one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not to mention, also, don't forget about the uh, captain. Once his uh, levels get higher, there's the ability to extend the, the range on your the torpedoes. Yeah. And that's what makes it getting a little ridiculous. See, for your torpedoes, thing, so that you can kind of get an idea of where they're going to be when the torpedoes finally hit. That's Dude, it. this is so funny. When I'm not streaming, my game's running at like 70 to 100 FPS. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, 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 just, that just shows how much resources. When I turn off the yeah. streams and play, it's so much different. Because a laptop, when you watch things on you know, YouTube or whatever and play games, it's like a big difference. Just yeah, I've got a couple browsers up and stuff like that, and I've got maxed out graphics, and I'm running about 30 frames per second, but if I'll shut all that down and put my game booster, significantly higher. Dude, this game running on 10 frames per second is fine for me sometimes. Like, it even, it drops down to 10, and it doesn't feel that bad at all. Yeah. Other games that drop down to 10, it's like, the, because it's not an FPS game, so, like, you know, instant Twitch-based actions aren't really rewarded in this game so lag isn't that big of a deal yeah this things are a little great. slower in this game so it yeah, makes like... it a little easier oh i've already been shipwrecked jesus i got one touch oh i got a torpedo and a kill yes nice random torpedo kill i'm happy one for one's a fair trade I hate this map. I hate this map. <laughs> I'm just out here getting wrecked. There's no place to hide. You can't. Oh. 
Let's see how Blood Crow's doing. Just wrecking house over there. Careful, you got a man in the front. He's got eyes on you, too. Oh, Blood Crow, you have been shipwrecked. Ridiculous volleys between three, four different ships. Yeah, Fuso, the Omaha, the Cleveland, and there was a Nicholas to your side. We're all just sending rounds down your range. Here's Typhoons, Typhoons, guys. Let's see. Oh. I hear you, Owen Knapp. I hear you, buddy. Nice to see you over there. Also, guys, I did send out 500 game cartridges because immediately last night I ac actually had to shut down everything in my living room right away uh, due to things happening in the neighborhood, which goes to show where I stream, guys. I I'm in a bad neighborhood. But I had to immediately shut down at like 2.30 in the morning. I was in the middle of doing classwork, and we had uh, somebody firing a gun pretty much like 30 feet from my windows. And that was basically, oh, it was a handgun. Somebody was getting at somebody. I hear AK-47 fire on a weekly basis. Well, in my neighborhood, it's not good because the next walkway over is like the bad part of the neighborhood. The apartments uh, one walkway behind us are like nothing but the drug houses and stuff. It's I hate to say it, but guys, but it's terrible. We're actually, uh, I've been saving up money myself to try and move. And it's just, it's rough, guys. It is rough. I'm actually looking at taking out a loan. Milwaukee has seen some unprecedented violence so far this year. There was a guy driving up here, not even 10 blocks from my house, who uh, a two-year-old ran out in the middle of the street. He accidentally hit the kid. He gets out of the car. He's grieving in front of his own van for this two-year-old boy. The uncle of the two-year-old comes over and shoots the guy in the face and kills him. The two-year-old's 15-year-old brother comes out to help his brother. The guy shoots the 15-year-old and kills him as well. Oh, jeez. He takes off to Chicago and kills himself in a hotel in Chicago. What about the two-year-old? The two-year-old died from his, from his injuries from the accident. The 15-year-old died. And the 40-some-odd-year-old guy who hit the two-year-old, of course, was executed. He had four kids of his own. He actually was a good member of the community. He did all kinds of nice things for the community. Um, you got people in Milwaukee you know, are just killing each other left and right. Um, that's crazy. You have skilled carry in Wisconsin now. Um, that's the only way you can defend yourself in the city. Even the sheriff. We have a great sheriff here, Sheriff Clark. He says that dialing 911 is not always your best response. Oh, my you goodness. Defend yourself. Wow. He's pushing for People to be able to good people in the city to be able to arm themselves against the idiots that are running around here shooting everybody up. That's crazy. It's gotten to the point where the mayor wants to bring in the ATF to help. But the last time the ATF came into Milwaukee, they put more dangerous guns on the streets than they took off because they were getting robbed by these gangs because the gangs knew the ATF was here. So they broke into their little storefront that they had trying to, you know clandestinely buy back some of these illegal guns and find out where they're coming from. Yeah. And, uh, they ended up breaking in and stealing some high-powered weaponry from the ATF. Oh, jeez. That ain't good. All right, what tier are we doing now? Or are we just going to wait? We're still in battle. All right, we'll wait. Us, that's fine, but... I don't mind waiting. Right now, they're starting to base cap us, so we're probably not going to be that long. Damn, bud, that's Dallas. Owen Knapps uh, feels your pain, uh, Scott. Tennis Mac, thanks for that follow, my friend. Thank you for your support. 
You guys are friggin' awesome. Just wait.